Okay, it's February 27th. <clears throat> it's been about five days since the last update. I'm gonna do a quick update on these four plants. And then I'll do another video about the other plants. So let's start back left. That is the, um, it's not tree trunk, but it's the little bro, little brother, whatever we wanna call them. We're gonna step into the tent, bring in some aphids with us. <clears throat> Notable here is uh, not much has moved in terms of appearance. It looks, you know, big, strong. It's got some strong offshoots. The offshoots are kind of going, but the main thing is uh, the flowering has begun. And so, you know, you can look in there and just see how many of these little drops are. Now, uh, a lot of them are gonna fall off because flower drop just occurs. So we're gonna go read about how to prevent flower drop. Um, but yeah, so a lot, of, a lot of flower formation and there was one actual flower. So that's the first flower on this plant right there. So that's where this plant's at. Doing pretty good, looking pretty healthy, no complaints. Uh, this is tree trunk, again, has the, the large leaves on it. The offshoots are still there. They're looking a bit um, bubbly. And again, th these two are just getting fed the uh, standard tiger bloom until runoff whenever they get dry and I can lift them with my hand. Again, kind of the same thing, the development is um, a lot of peppers beginning to form. Uh, no flowers on this one yet. That one looks like it's about to open right there, but no flowers on this one yet. Uh, but these two are, I mean, they're pretty much the same height. They're pretty much the same level of offshoot down at the bottom. One, obviously I trimmed off these large leaves, so that's why this one looks just generally busier. Uh, but they're, they're, they're pretty much neck and neck. So I'll have to go back again and just kind of look at the history of these two plants and see see what went correct. Uh, this plant, you can nickname him Hydra because he's got like so many heads. He's got more than, a uh, Hydra has three, this thing has like at least four. So uh, the shoots are looking okay. It's looking a little bubbly, uh, but all in all, it looks pretty healthy. Some leaves show that kind of deep green nitrogen a lot of leaves are still very light. New growth's a little light. Um, but you really wanna be careful with adding nutrients to this stuff, especially in cocoa, because I think there is a delay effect and we'll get into that with the next plant. But this plant looks good, pretty strong, like lots of, lots of branching. If this thing was just two feet taller, it'd be insane. But we are getting, sorry, uh, we are getting pepper formation in there we are going to pluck off peppers. We're going to go super long term with this plant, probably take it outside um, and get it out of the tent at some point. But um, we're going to go a little bit more long term and pluck off the peppers. If you see, you know, it's it's got a lot of a lot of potential to just be a, a big ball of peppers. Anyway, uh, this plant stand up here. This plant is the um, small kind of bonsai plant and I'll have to double check, but I think this plant was transplanted while it was already kind of a little root bound in the cup. You can see evidence of that in that you can see a clear root line and if you move it, it kind of jiggles around in that area. It doesn't really move this, but um, this thing never really got the height. It looks pretty healthy. Uh, it does have some does have quite a bit of uh, flower formation actually. This thing actually has more flowers uh, than that. Uh, less buds because you know it's a tiny plant compared, but this thing has maybe three or four flowers in there. Uh, no peppers set yet, but you can kind of see them starting to form in the back end. So uh, this thing, you know, is gonna give me peppers before the other ones. And I think that might be because the container size is small. Sorry about the focus. Uh, the container size, impacts how fast it blooms. Maybe it reaches to some type of uh, point that it uh, it decides to root or it decides to bloom because there's no more area to root. So that's why uh, you got to transplant them a little early in my opinion. I feel like people transplant stuff too late. Like uh, uh, there's, there's got to be like an ideal time. Now this is the over nutrient one. 
the the one we were keeping it's weird because it was looking pretty good but i think it was looking good because it was not absorbing all the nutrients that i was pumping into that cocoa soil uh it has some flowers on it but i was pumping this thing with um like a milliliter of bio thrive that's a 433 into 100 milliliters of water and i was giving this thing like every two days that dose and it was looking fine until i gave it like a very large watering and then it started to look very bad so um this is this is fine with me because this is what we wanted we wanted to see this plant get fucked up um from too much new new too much fertilizers sorry forgot how to speak um let's see a lot of crispy tips on this a lot of uh edges kind of burned on that you see how the edge is kind of brown and this this up at the top you'd get this on cannabis that um crispy crispy tips over here right there so that's kind of a that's kind of what nutrient burn looks like and it's interesting because the plants were nice and large and now they're kind of small, which occurs on the large plants. So we'll have to take a look at that. And maybe I was, I mean, <laughs> probably over nutrienting everything. Lost a leaf here. Uh, but this is what uh, this is what your plant will look like if you're adding too much nutrients. It'll look like this up top. Let's take a good look. I'll probably do a single video just about this one too, just to get a full minute view anyway that's what's going on with these four plants five plants rather and then uh i'll set another video about the uh the large plants the clones the germination station we got a lot going on 